making the lemon cookies. So okay. this is lemon cake mix. Well, your hands aren't clean. <laughs> We're gonna open it. Turn the oven on to 350 already. Have Cool Whip, eight ounce, and some powdered sugar that we'll use in a minute. So dump it. We're gonna put it all in. Also, it's 10:30 at night, and we're starting cookies. This is the quarantine life. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna stir it around. Not too, not too aggressive with it. It's just gonna look weird for a while. So you get a good and stir it in. And we don't use the beaters on it. We just hand stir it so that the whip stays a little whippy, like fluffy. Mm -hmm. And I've made these cookies with red velvet before, cake mix, right? That was yummy. Those were yummy. And lemon. I've never tried any other flavors because I really like the lemon. I really yes. like the red velvet. And so you're not going to eat any of these cookies? I, I like the lemon. I just want to eat any other red velvet. You made it sound like you weren't going to eat it. These are all for me. Okay, get another spatula that's sticking to this. foil on a cookie. Makes it bake weird. Parchment paper. Parchment paper. And it's parchment paper is different than wax paper. Do not substitute. You will make your oven smoky if you use wax paper. Parchment paper. Just because it keeps it from being so sticky and because I don't like cleaning up very many messes. Mm. I might be lazy. Okay. There's no measurement to this. Um powdered sugar, just dump some because we're just rolling cookie balls in it, doesn't matter. Dump however much you want, dump some more whenever you need it, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. Take a scoop like this in your thing, pop it down, roll it around. And then pick it up. Pick it up, place it on the tray. Super, 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 
ones. Okay, timer's going off. We're gonna check them. And they, it is warm, but um, they're not done. So I don't know if you can see in my oven. Um, they're not done. We want them to be a little brown on the edges. So we're gonna do another minute. Okay, that was one more minute. All right, check them again. Yeah, I like the way they look. I'm gonna take them out because they will continue to cook on the pan a little bit. We're gonna leave them here for a second to cool and then we're gonna take them off. See, they're a little done right there on the edges. It's still a little gooey in the middle, but I don't wanna move them. You could have done another minute, but I don't wanna move them yet because they'll fall through the racks. We're gonna let them cool a little bit on here for like a minute or two before we move them to a cooling rack. Okay, I did these for the 10 minutes instead of just nine, and you see they're a little more done than the others. It'll still be okay though. So we're gonna let them cool here for a minute, move them over here. First tray was 20, and then 12, and then 11. It's 43. Took me a long time. I did the math before I started the video again. Um, not quite four dozen, but it may just be because some of them got a little bigger than the others. I'm take these off now. They've set a little bit. This small pan is a good cookie sheet because it fits in the dishwasher. Makes the cookies pretty evenly too, but also it fits in the dishwasher. But only holds like a dozen, with regular dozen cookies. So I like the really big cookie sheet because it cooks more at one time. This one's tiny and cute. That guy got stuck because I'm not good at tearing parchment paper. I don't know anybody that's good at tearing parchment paper though. So the last 11 are in the oven and these are cooling. The first ones should be good and cool now. Zoe already came by and stole one. Repeat that process um, until you're out of mixture and you have yourself a little bit of cake cookies. I've only ever tried red velvet and lemon, so I don't know if any other flavors would be good, like chocolate or strawberry, cake mixes, I don't really know. Um, you could let me know though. Enjoy your cookies, since it's spring.